Well, there are between 1,900 and 2,000 Elks Lodges currently active in the United States. There's a, uh, a separate Canadian organization that has several hundred lodges as well. In the U.S., about half of the Elks Lodges have some provision for overnight parking, whether it be dry camping for a night in the corner of the parking lot or a full-fledged RV park with full hookups and cable TV or anywhere in between. Um, full hookups, including sewer hookups, are fairly scarce at Elks Lodges, but uh, many lodges will have electric and water with a dump station on site. Uh, there are more that have uh, electric and water, but you have to go somewhere else in town to dump your tanks. Most expensive one that I know of is $35 a night. Um, 20 or 25 is common with hookups. Um, five or ten dollars for dry camping is uh, is common. There are lodges who say no donation is required, but if you want to make one, we'll accept it. And are there stay limits? There usually are, and it varies from one lodge to another. Um, five to seven nights is common. There are some lodges that will only allow you to stay one or two nights. There are some lodges that have full-fledged RV parks with hookups that have monthly rates. You have to be a member of Elks, though. In virtually every case. A few lodges say that their RV facilities are open to Elks members as well as non-Elks non RVers who are traveling with them. Joining an Elks Lodge uh, is easy to do. Just contact a, a lodge in your area. Um, the annual dues at a lodge can range anywhere from 50 to $200, and that's going to be based primarily on the lodge's expenses and uh, how large they are, how expensive their facility is to maintain, and so on. But it's perfectly okay to join Elks primarily for the RV benefits. That's why I joined in the first place, although I'm doing more things with my local lodge here in Gilroy now than I used to. Some Elks Lodges uh, serve dinner several nights a week. Uh, most Elks Lodges have a bar or lounge or a members club where you can uh, get a, a, a beverage of your choice. Uh, different lodges are open different hours and different numbers of days of the week. Uh, there are some lodges where the bar is open uh, uh, seven days a week. There are other lodges where it's open uh, just on meeting nights a couple of times a month. It varies widely. But generally there's some sort of social activity going on. It mostly depends on your timing when you're there and how that matches up with their calendar. So people, where would people go to find more information about this? Uh, your website, uh, overnightrvparking.com, what you list uh, around five, six hundred of these lodges as yeah. Uh, We're in the process of adding all the Elks Lodges in the country to it, and we have somewhere around five or 600 of them so far. And is there another place? Does the Elks have a, a general website that yeah. you could go to? Yes, it's www.elks.org, elks.org. And there's, a, there's a, a link on that page on uh, how to join the Elks, and they'll, they'll guide you through the process. Okay. You can even fill out your application online, and they'll make sure it gets to the lodge closest to you.